afternoon. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I want to thank God for the chance of, uh, for giving me another chance in life, a chance to uh, redeem my, myself. And of course, to all of you who took a minute of your time to come and support and hear our stories, our testimony to be more specific. I was born in Mexico in 1982, and nine years later, I came to the United States. I'm the son of a family who migrated chasing the American dream, seeking a better future for their kids. At the time, two sisters and myself. Little did I know that this dream became a nightmare when I was introduced to drugs and alcohol at a very, very early age. And it followed me all the way to my marriage, a marriage that I lost due to my addiction. And of course, not only that, but I lost the trust and the love of everyone who loved me and believed in me. So um, I was so far into my addiction that I never learned how to take care of myself. I never learned how to take care of the family that God had given me. I lost uh, even good jobs. I became a disaster, um, a living nightmare. I was in, uh, in jail, in and out of jail for so many years. I was um, homeless by choice, twice, which is um, it's not good. So little that I knew, that it was as simple as surrendering to God, to not as my Savior. On July 2023, I decided that I was done with losing. I was really done. And I sought help. And this is where the Open Door Mission came in place. It came to my attention that this place would have done wonders for other people, and I wanted this wonders for myself as well. The mission gave me the tools necessary and gave me a better understanding that it wasn't my fault, that it was maybe trauma. And with the trauma Warfare <coughs> curriculum, it helped me understand and it helped me uh, deal with loss and guilt, shame. It gave me the strength necessary to fight my addiction. Mm -hmm. And with the leap of faith, I allowed myself to listen and establish a personal relationship with God. Yeah, I was kind of like that right because I can't really speak in public. So. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I got interested and I, I, I just asked God to give me the, the strength and uh, I guess uh, God can give me everything I ask for. Okay. So, this, this experience is awesome. All I can say is that at the work faith, I understand that uh, work, that faith comes with work. It, not anything is not given. And I understand that with God, anything is possible and then everything is possible. Today, I'm a full-time employee at the Open Door Mission. <laughs> And I get to do what I love, and that is to cook. <laughs> I also learned that I'm here to serve and not to be served. Amen. I've been given a responsibility to be a, a living testimony and to be of encouragement to newcomers and to anybody who needs encouragement, just like I did at one point in my life. I want to share that there is hope, that there is a joy, and that there is a, a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, Mr. Philip, the, guy, the man that hired me, um, he always used to say that uh, we, are, we are his responsibility. And I don't think he's here today, but I would like to share that with him. I would like to be responsible for saving lives, saving, you know, sharing that it's possible. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Mm. I'm so grateful for the Open Door Mission. I'm so grateful for work faith. And my life and my peace is something I cherish every day, and I hold them that. And I got people here supporting me my counselor, Mr. Stan, Mr. Freeman, my parents, my good friend Andrew, Ms. Alejandra, Ms. Trina. I can't, I can't name all of them, but uh, I, I'm thankful for everybody. I'm thankful for Ms. Morley. She kind of like guided me through this. Um, and mom and dad, like, thank you for not giving up on me. I hope that. Today you can put part and I may not be coming. God is life and God is always faithful.